I love how you can literally see my duvet like behind me. It's because I need to change my bed sheets and I have nowhere else to put my duvet because it's all just stacked up on here. Hi guys, in today's video I'm going to be doing a full face of makeup using my cheapest makeup in all of my makeup collection. I'm not going to stay on this part for too long because I don't want you guys to like see my face and stuff um, too closely but if you want to see all of this stuff on my face right now and what it all is, what I think of it, then just keep watching. So for some reason the world has decided to bless me with completely clear skin apart from this one giant spot on my nose. Like, I don't know where it came from. Look at my face. I know it could be so much worse, like obviously the rest of my skin is amazing right now but then I've just come up with this massive like Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer right in the middle of my face so thanks world. So I'm just going to quickly put some colour corrector on it and the cheapest colour corrector that I have is the Freedom Pro Camouflage and Correct Green Colour Corrector. This is £3. Um, I didn't have a cheaper colour corrector, they probably do do them in like Poundland stuff I imagine but this is the cheapest one I have so I'm just going to put a little bit of this, it comes in like a little pot and I'm just going to put some of this on my red nose, whoa, okay, I dip my finger in it a tiny bit and that is a lot of product. Okay, so I know that my nose is now green, but honestly, I'd rather it be green than be red, so there we go. Today's video, by the way, marks the beginning of a very stressful time uh, for me. I'm pre-filming about uh, between like 10 and 15 videos because I'm actually going on holiday to America next week. I'm away for like two and a half weeks, so I need to try and pre-film as much as I can because obviously I can't film when I'm out there. I probably will be vlogging though, so make sure you're subscribed to my second channel. Um, but yeah, I'm pre-filming all of these videos in advance, so there we go. The cheapest foundation that I own is the Miss Forty Really Me Second Effect Skin Foundation. S Second Skin Effect Foundation. It's $3.99, um, and for some reason, shade number two is actually paler than shade number one, so I'm gonna go for this one. It's just like in a stick form, and I haven't used this in ages. But I'm just gonna put it... I just realised I forgot to prime my face. Well, I'm just going to have to go for that because I am committed now. It's because normally I prime my face before filming. So whenever I'm filming and I'm supposed to be testing a primer, I just completely forget to test it. Probably used way too much, but that's fine. And then I'm taking in this blank Canvas Cosmetics uh, F08 brush. And I'm just going to try and buff this in a little bit. I was going to use a beauty blender, but I was way too lazy to go to the bathroom and actually wet it. Can anyone else relate? <laughs> well, this is just completely wiped off that green colour corrector from my nose. When I've worn this foundation before, like, I didn't mind it too much, but now I think it's just the fact that I don't have any moisturiser on underneath or anything. It's just going a little bit, like, dry in places. If you compare this to the foundations that you get in, like, um, Primark and Poundland and stuff, it's actually not too bad. So for concealer I'm using my Promark PS Love Concealer. This is 90p so it's definitely the cheapest concealer in my collection but I really don't enjoy this. It's just so thick and it's probably gonna make the spot on my nose 10 times worse but ow it's really painful. I'm gonna do it anyway. It's just a really cakey concealer. Um, I find that these kind of stick concealers tend to be quite thick but you know it's 90p, what can you expect? Oh, and this nail broke, so I stuck a fake nail on it and the fake nail was kind of like pinged off somewhere, so. Souls about that. I feel like this video is already just like a mess. As per. By the way, the reason that I'm not using like um, everything just from Poundland, because obviously I've done like testing Poundland and Pound World makeup videos is because some of the stuff after the videos are actually threw away, like the foundations and stuff, because there was just no point keeping them. I couldn't exactly give them away to friends because they were so bad that <laughs> my friends wouldn't want them. Um, and you can't give used makeup to charity, so I literally just threw them in the bin. Okay, so that gave me a bit of coverage under my eyes. Um, you can still see the spot on my nose, but it's not as bad. One of the things that I did keep from the um, Poundland, no, this is actually Pound World testing video, is the Ready, Set, Go powder. Honestly, I don't really know why I kept this, but I still have it, so I thought I would go ahead and use it. It's not great. It smells pretty, like, chemically. And it doesn't give any coverage. Like, it literally just sets your face in place. But obviously, I wasn't expecting it to give coverage. Because one, it was a well, pound. And two, it's translucent. Yeah, I really wouldn't recommend this powder. Like, it takes quite a lot to get your face to be matte. And I feel like it just kind of makes everything look worse. Okay, so next I'm going to fill in my brows again. This is one of the Miss Beauty products. But I actually bought this before my testing Pound World video. Uh, this is in the shade Blonde. I bought this one time when I was just in there. 
and I actually used to use it when I was at school just because like the colour of it is pretty good for blonde hair. It's not too warm, which a lot of them often are. And obviously, again, this was one pound. So hard to get like a gradient when you're using a brow pencil. So to bronze up my face, the next product that I have is also from Pound World. I swear to God, everything else in this video, I'm pretty sure is not from Pound World. I think I have one more thing, but the rest of the stuff is like drugstore stuff. Um, but yeah, the cheapest bronzer that I did have was this one. It was only a pound again. So I thought that I would stay true to the video and use it. So I'm just gonna use this to warm up my face a bit. And to be fair, this, this bronzer is actually fine. Like, it's quite warm toned, but it does the job of a bronzer and it's pretty pigmented. So you just need to dip your brush in it a tiny bit. And I find that it doesn't blend too badly as well. Obviously it doesn't make a very good contour shade because it is very warm, but um, it does the job. Like, you see? That's fine. Okay, then the last thing that I was talking about, which is um, from the same range again, still one pound, is the blusher in the shade Toffee. And I actually really like the colour of this blush. Again, this is actually super pigmented. And I actually think it's quite a nice blush colour. Okay, it kind of looked like I've had an allergic reaction to something. Not ideal. Let's try and blend that out a bit. Then for highlighter, I'm using my PS Love Radiant Glow Highlighter Powder. This is from Primark and this cost me £2. I mean, it doesn't last for very long. It's in the shade Moonlight Beam. Um, if you ever see this in highlighter, <laughs> what? If you ever see this highlighter in Primark, I would recommend picking it up and giving it a try because I actually have a whole video on this and yeah, I actually quite like it. I mean, I don't wear it that often just because I have highlighters that are better, but for two pounds, it's really good. Oh, my brush is melting everywhere. Oh my God, my under eyes have actually creased so badly. Okay, the highlight looks really nice on camera, but um, I don't know, up close, kind of looks a bit meh. Okay, so moving on to eyeshadow. I have a couple of different products here. The first thing that I have is called the Technic Electric Beauty Palette. This one has got a bunch of like bright, fun colored shades in this, and I used this in my testing Technic makeup video. I think this palette was like two pounds on eBay, which is ridiculously cheap. But then from the actual drugstore, I thought I'd use some other shades to kind of like go with it because those are all like super bright. These are the Collection Eyes Uncovered uh, like palettes. I have three different ones. I have the Nude Rose one, the Smoky Gray one, and the nude bronze palette these i think are wait how much are these they're either 2.99 or 3.99 everything will be linked down below so you guys will be able to see but these are really cheap palettes from the drugstore these are actually pretty good i'm going to use the nude bronze one and i'm going to take i really want a matte shade for my crease i'm going to take this one here even though it's shimmery i can't really do much about that so i'm just gonna oh my god my eyelids are so horrendously creased Oh god, this looks so bad. Oh god. Yeah, the powder has really not set that concealer nicely. And the concealer is really not nice. <laughs> okay, but for real though, I know that I'm complaining a lot. I do actually quite like these little collection palettes. I know that they do have some matte ones as well, so I'd recommend maybe getting one of the matte ones and then one of these um, shimmery ones, because the shimmer shades are actually really nice. Like, look at that shade. I'm gonna take this, like, dark blue, I guess. <laughs> Here we go again, making it up on the spot. And I'm just gonna pack this onto my outer corner. Okay, to be fair, that actually went on a lot more pigmented than I was expecting. I feel like this is gonna be another situation where my eyelids turn into like a child's paint pad where they just like mix every color of the rainbow together and it just turns into like a big dirty mess. You guys know what I mean. I don't like this blue color very much. Why do I always go for blue? You know what, I'm gonna take some of this like burgundy shimmer color and I'm gonna put it on my finger and just put this like all over my eyelid. Oh my God. I can't get my finger all the way in there because my nails are too long. I'm like, eh, that's what she said. Oh my God. You can literally see where I've been stabbing myself like with my fingernails. Oh my God, this looks so bad. <laughs> okay, these eyeshadows are okay if you just wanna pack them on, but as soon as you start to blend, they just, they don't have any of it. Okay, I'm taking the nude rose palette and I'm gonna take the darkest color, this is probably a terrible idea, onto my, this was a mistake. This was a mistake. It's stuck to the eyeshadow under, oh, oh dear. So if you have done it again. Wow, I'm really doing some like bad makeup looks recently. 
And we're just gonna run this along my lower lash line. And then I'm gonna take this and I'm just putting this on the center of my eyelid. Like this color, look at that color. That is so pretty actually. You can't beat like shimmer shadow application than with your finger. My lower lash line. And then on my inner corners, I'm taking the palest kind of yellow gold shade. And I'm just gonna, oh, that's bright. Okay, so there's my eyeshadow done. I mean, I thought um, it was gonna end up a lot worse. I mean, it's, oh, it really does not look great. It doesn't, it doesn't look great. It doesn't look great. But I tried it, at least I tried it. It's the thought that counts, right? Okay, then for my eyeliner, I'm gonna use the Freedom, um, just like standard basic liquid liner. I do have the Makeup Revolution one somewhere, which is a lot more recent. They're pretty much exactly the same thing, but I don't know when my Makeup Revolution one's gone, but this Freedom one is about two years old, so I think it's a bit clumpy. And I think this is one pound or one pound 50. Um, and it's just got like a little like plastic pointed applicator thing. It's not the best eyeliner in the world, but it's also not the worst. By the way, the reason that I didn't use the Poundland one is because it literally burnt my eyes. Like I put it on and it was burning like crazy. My eyeliner has definitely seen better days. Okay, so for mascara, I have the collection Fast Stroke Defining Lash Mascara. I think this is um, $2.99. Or $1.99. $2.99, I think. Um, so it was the cheapest mascara that I had. I honestly cannot remember what this is like, but I have the brown black one for some reason. Okay. It's actually not too bad. My mascara really is not too bad. I'm also going to use it on my lower lashes. Okay, so while I'm waiting for my mascara to dry, I'm just going to do my lips before I do my lashes. For some reason, my vision is starting to go very... I don't know if it's because I'm tired or... <laughs> Something is like blinding me I don't know so I'm using one of the Primark lip liners which is a pound this one is in the shade number 10 this is a very blunt lip liner I should have sharpened it wow it's harder than I thought to use a blunt lip liner especially on dry lips that's a lot darker than I remember it being and then I'm gonna go over the top with the Primark makeup gallery pout matters this one I think is just in nude it literally has no names on it but it's just the nude color and I actually really like this it's pretty much exactly the same as the NYX soft matte lip creams uh, and by itself it's a really nice nude color but I don't know how it's gonna work over the top this does eventually dry down matte, and oh my god, my eyes are burning. Like, I don't know what it is, but they are stinging so badly. So to finish this off, I'm going to wear some lashes, and these, I <laughs> know, they look so pathetic in this little case, but these are a pair of Primark lashes. I think they're called, like, the... Damn, what are these called? I'll write them in the description box down below. I think they might just be called, like, volume or something, but they are so, like, thick and plasticky, and they look a bit like slugs. Like, imagine if I put these- like, look how straight they are. Like, these could be eyebrows. Okay, so, here are the lashes applied. I really do not like them. They were really difficult to get to, like, blend with my natural lashes, and also I feel like this one looks a lot different to this one. I mean, they're not the worst lashes in the whole world, but they're, they're really not the best. So, this is the finished look. Let me just give you guys a horrifying close-up. So, you can actually see how the concealer has, like, it basically creased instantly under my eyes. Um, my base is really not looking good. Like, can you see all around my nose? It's all like separated already and it just has all gone all dry on my forehead. Okay, so that is it for this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Um, it was actually quite interesting to see like how some of my cheapest makeup performs. I mean, obviously I use a lot of drugstore makeup anyway, but just seeing like the cheapest of the cheap stuff that I have in my collection and seeing how it worked was pretty interesting. So I hope you guys enjoyed it too. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Also make sure you're subscribed down below because I am, oh my, oh my goodness, I even forgot to say like at the beginning of this video, I need to say the biggest thank you for 400,000 subscribers. Like, that is actually insane. Like, that is such a crazy number of people. Um, I got 400,000 subscribers the other day and I just have to say, like, thank you guys so much. You just keep on surprising me. Like, it keeps on amazing me how people keep on subscribing to my channel. Like, I don't know why people are wanting to subscribe, but there's still more people joining and if you aren't already subscribed, then join this little fan we have going on because um, it's amazing and you guys are amazing and I want to say the biggest thank you in the world because I feel like the luckiest person on the planet. Um, you guys are all so lovely. I met so many of you at Summer in the City and the fact that I've got 400,000 subscribers now, like it doesn't actually feel real. Like it hasn't actually sunk in yet. 
And it's so insane to think that the next milestone is literally half a million people and I can't, I can't even process that. So thank you guys so, so, so much. Like literally thank you guys so much. Um, it means the absolute world to me. And yeah, there's gonna be a little 400,000 subscriber giveaway coming soon. I've just gotta sort out a couple more bits. Um, but that should be up on Friday. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye. And yes, if you're from Snapchat, I am wearing my dad's jumper again. I just really like this jumper, it's so comfy, it's literally like replaced my dressing gown.